Welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. As you can see, Bitcoin is right now potentially breaking out above this level of resistance. We also have Ethereum as it's breaking down from this triangle pattern, finding some support in the short term, as well as Solana now potentially about to break out above this level of resistance. So I'm going to talk about all of that and even more in today's video. So let's get into the analysis. First of all, taking a look at Bitcoin on the four hour time frame, you can see that we are right now about to break out above this level of resistance. And in the case that we do, well, we could expect to see the price move up to 71.3K, but this will be a tough level to break because previously we already got rejected from that price level three times. But in the case that we do break above this level of resistance, we will be attempting to set a new all time high. And another way to look at this is by this triangle pattern right here. We reached the bottom of this triangle and are now reaching the top of this triangle again. So in the case that we see a breakout and ideally also a retest, well, then the price target for that breakout would be about 78.5K. However, it is, of course, definitely possible that we get rejected from this level. And in the case that we see a breakout to the downside, well, then the price target for this breakout would be 58.4K. So in the case that we do end up seeing that breakout to the downside, well, then some potential support levels you need to keep an eye on is, first of all, from 66,000 all the way down to 65,500 US dollars. And then below that, there's another huge level of support from 62,000 all the way to $60,000. Now taking a look at the Bitcoin liquidation heat maps on the one week time frame, you can see that we just took out a big pocket of liquidity, taking out over $900 million worth of people that were shorting the Bitcoin price, meaning they lost their money on their trade. So zooming out on the one month time frame, what would be the next big level of liquidity? Well, first of all, there's a huge level of liquidity sitting right here at about seven $72,000. And then above that, another massive level of liquidity sitting at about $74,000. And as you know, if you watch my videos regularly, typically the Bitcoin price gets attracted to where there is most liquidity. So with the liquidity being visualized by these yellow boxes right here, there is reason to believe that we are more likely to break out to the upside in order to sweep this liquidity. However, there can always be fake outs along the way. So this is why we will not get ahead of ourselves and continue to take it one day at a time. Now taking a look at the Bitcoin ETF flow tables, you can see that on Thursday and Friday, over $200 million worth of Bitcoin was bought by these Bitcoin ETFs. And since we closed the week out strong, it would be pretty interesting to see how we start the next week tomorrow. So this is definitely something that I will continue to keep an eye on over the next couple of days. And if you do want to keep up with the crypto price action, then do make sure to subscribe to my channel with notifications on because I upload a new video about the price action every single day. As for the Ethereum price action for today, you can see that we are now trading above this 618 Fibonacci level, which is a very good sign. So it looks like we have now flipped this into support. In the case that we do see a little move to the downside, we could expect to see a bounce from there. However, Ethereum does have this level of resistance above it. So this is something to keep in mind. And this resistance level is sitting from about 3450 all the way up to 3550. And in the case that we do see a move to the downside, you have this Fibonacci level right here at about 3330. But then below that, we have a big level of support from about 3250 down to 3150. But right now it looks like we are just consolidating sideways a little bit. And you can also see this reflected in the RSI because the RSI momentum indicator is showing about 50, which is showing neutral price action. Since there's not too much else to say about Ethereum, I'm going to leave it here for today. So let's check back in on it in tomorrow's video. Now taking a look at Solana's price action for today, you can see that we are currently in this level of resistance and it looks like Solana really wants to break out to the upside here. However, this is not yet confirmed. But in the case that we do see a breakout to the upside for Solana, then the next level of resistance will be at about 178 
up to 192. And in my opinion, if Bitcoin continues to go up or just starts trading sideways here, Solana does have a little more room to run to the upside in the short term, because in the short term, the RSI is nowhere close to being in overbought territories. However, in the case that we do see a rejection from this level of resistance, which could be very likely if we see Bitcoin start trading downward, well, then the next level of support is sitting right here from about 171 all the way down to 166. Now, please subscribe to my channel if you liked this video. Thank you for watching once again, and I'll see you tomorrow in the next one.